Hello. Hello. It's been a very long time since um, um, Jeff has been here. Did you forget my name or something? Well, I don't call you Jeff. Like if you, the last mukbang we did was a 10K and we established that I don't call you by your name. We are doing a special mukbang today and we have some snacks. We're gonna do, but we're gonna eat dinner first and we're having, it's kind of a sad dinner but I'm still excited because it's like junk food and we have um, a pororo jajang. So we have, it's hot because the hot water is cooking the nudes right now. And actually, why don't we put the, the jajang um, sauce packet in it? And then we can take a shot of soju. It looks like pickle. It looks like pickle from... What's pickle? Sanrio. Oh, well, his name is Pickle. I'm gonna put... And then we're gonna let it cook for another couple minutes. So the sauce packet is brown. It's actually weird because last night we were watching, um... Like a instant noodle review or something, right? Mm-hmm. Actually, yep. the review sucks. We sucked. randomly watched YouTube videos. <laughs> but the review uh, sucks. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so anyway, we're just doing a kind of hang out and eat snacks with us. So go grab your snacks or your dinner or your breakfast or whatever, or your coffee or your alcohol. Um, and then we'll just get started. This might be too much water. Uh-oh. I think I was supposed to pour some water out. So it's a jajang, so it's actually not supposed to be this watery. So let's let this cook a little more. Like I said, I got dargi soju, I got strawberry soju. So we're gonna drink this and we are gonna have a relaxing um, date with Christy and Jeff today. Whoa, where'd you get that? What do you mean, it's a chip clip. Okay, so we'll take a shot of strawberry soju and we have strawberries they are the best strawberries uh i've ever had and i'm we get it from this local um grocery store i love strawberries oh it smells good i should have soaked the strawberries in this one why did you not oh this is like juice i'll soak it mm. right now mm. You just take a shot. Yeah, I'm soaking it. Soaking it in the soju. Mmm. The strawberries are good. They're not as good as last time, though. Pretty so, good. I hope you guys have had a very nice week. Have you had a nice week? I mean... I'm excited for this. The past week, it's, it's, uh, it's been good. There's been a lot of, uh, you know... Things coming up in the future that uh, could be yeah. We we are future planning. <laughs> I think I think this is ready to eat. Man, I put too much water in here. You know how to make that thing where it, it turns into like a little like cup. I used to do it all the time and I forgot. Anyway, so this Oma Oma, thank you because um, my mom when I was last home she gave me a couple of these because I wanted to try it because I wanted because I haven't had cup noodles in a very long long time and she always has some random cup noodles at home so Oma Koma Oma Kamsamida I think I did some oh oh yeah and then and then you just yeah and then it shouldn't leak right yeah something like that I mean I don't think we really need this know. though you know what I'm just gonna eat it from here uh. so anyway this is like a <laughs> this is a so <laughs> Done. I'm gonna do my best with chopsticks. He is um, an Asian guy that doesn't do well with chopsticks. Nope, my uh... Oh, lots, it lots definitely of... needs like, like a hot sauce. Lots of years dealing cards and then also getting my hand cut when I was ice skating that one time. I don't know, I, I, I have like this bad fin with my hand. Like Nemo. Yeah, I'm like Nemo, so I can't do the chopsticks very well. Hmm. This reminds me of being in college. <laughs> I put way too much water. I think you did. It's way too much water. But this I is even, just like an appetizer. I even mentioned yesterday that the that the person we were watching um, <laughs> didn't add that much water. Yeah. I put way too much water. But it's good. Um I haven't really eaten anything today, so it's good. Um, anyway, so 
This week is actually very exciting because Saturday we are going to go watch um, Permission to Dance at Cinemark, at a local Cinemark. So we're going to go watch that. I bought the tickets and I'm very excited because this is your first BTS concert, right? Yes. So actually, he's gone to see um, one of the BTS documentaries. Oh yeah. With me and Sylvia and my mom before. It was cool. Yeah. So um, that that was a documentary I think back in like 2019, and they remember they were like in Paris and like mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. getting drunk and stuff. Like they, that was so cute. But um, we saw that one they together. Eat, like, steak or. Um... Yeah, I think they were probably eating steak. Yeah. Um, yeah. So we're gonna go do that on Saturday. So if you happen to see us, oh, I didn't know you were gonna take a shot with me. Yeah. No. Oh. Well, you're, why did you why did you come with me with an empty glass? You went for it. What? Or, 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 aren't I supposed to like turn this way or like? No, well you're older than me, oh, you, but you, we're you, husband and wife, oh. so it doesn't matter. Oh, but you were just talking about like. Well, the proper way to do it is not this, but we're first of all we are married, and then also we're not in Korea. So. Technically, it's the younger person to show respect is supposed to always pour um the, sh the, the, the shot, and then the younger person always looks away, and then, oh. and then when and then if you are younger and accepting a drink, you hold it with two hands and accept it. But anyway, we're not doing that. It's a good chaser, isn't it? Yeah, but I mean, but this this tastes like juice. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so what are you expecting from the concert? So they're having the show, um, actually, this week, and I think it's like a little bit of a delayed viewing because there's two shows. There's a show at four thirty and eight thirty at mm -hmm. our local theater. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna go watch the concert, and I'm really excited for you to see a full concert because you've seen performances, but you haven't seen a concert. What are your thoughts? <laughs> Of course I'm excited for it. I, I don't know. I'm excited to uh, to just hear all the classics. So the special thing about the PTD concert is that they're not doing any solo stuff. They're only performing songs that they did as a, as, a, as seven of them. But I also heard so this no, week... No, uh, so I... What's that? The shark. Oh, Super Tuna? Oh, were you anticipating Super Tuna? Yeah. I know. I Well, so so you know what? Jin, actually, during uh, he was live with, um, with Hobie, JK, and Tay this week. And he was saying that he told the company, he told Hive that he wanted to do Super Tuna, and they're like, no, because it's a solo. <laughs> so we're not gonna see Super Tuna, but I was looking forward to that. But maybe he like during like um um like a ment like uh when they talk to the audience, maybe he'll like do so do something. I don't know, because that was such a big song. I mean, it was like kind, like kind of a joke, but it's not a, really. It, like but it's, it a, was. it's a good. Um... Yeah. stadium kind of thing it's like the wave or whatever like everyone just does it you know and yeah. kind of like looks cool yeah so i'm very very excited <laughs> so we need to like figure out your bias so after this like maybe we're gonna have the tournament it's like march madness it's perfect timing for oh it. yeah you're right oh you're right yeah so after the concert um uh we will record something because like after this i'm pretty sure he's gonna have even a better um understanding of who his bias might be so we'll continue it it's or just, i might know already or you might well you know things change if you happen to be in our area and you see us don't be shy <laughs> i ruined the noodles so it wasn't supposed to be like like it's, it's like lamyon yeah, <laughs> but yeah, i think it's supposed it's to be supposed like, to be like, like that, yeah that's kind of you know, we're gonna go, I wanna go eat Korean food before the concert. <laughs> um, oh no! I did also, because we, you know, this was, nothing was planned for today, but just to eat. But I did. <laughs> so I get this question a lot. Um, not a, okay, actually no. I don't get this question a lot, but I have seen it here and there because it's actually very hilarious because a lot of people that watch us do mm -hmm. know that it, uh, and it, especially when I do my own reactions or videos. Are you okay? <laughs> yep. People are always like, what does your hobby think of you and your reactions? <laughs> um, oh... You're, you're getting very messy, sir. <laughs> so, because obviously, 
he has been there for some of like the crazy reactions mm -hmm. and um mm -hmm. and also his name is part of the channel too he knows what happens so i want you to give your honest answer like what what do you think especially so yesterday um uh so yesterday i uploaded a uh, a reaction to me watching my 80s bias Mingi's like vlog when he was in LA. So I uploaded that. So obviously there are so many um, people who are married or have boyfriends and you know some people they have their opinions about it. So what do you think? <laughs> I mean it's all fun and games. <laughs> I mean you have a passion for music and it just incorporated I mean incorporated the you know physical aspect of it too like a right? physical right? like you think some of them are cute right like or don't you think some of them are cute like are, okay first of all okay i'm just gonna get to it are you threatened by them no because <laughs> you love me <laughs> i think it's fine as long as uh you don't get within like a 200 foot radius of them or something like that <laughs> okay <laughs> 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 no, there have been comments. There have been comments that said, "Oh, what are you gonna do if you saw like Kim Seok Jin in person?" Like there have been comments. We'll, we'll like see. That. We'll see what happens then. If like you just start like running towards them, and, like like if you like you know like you know people like throw stuff on the <laughs> concert. Yeah. Well, I haven't gotten that close exactly yet. Yet. <laughs> but you know what's really funny that because you mentioned you don't know all of um uh who like my biases are i wanted you to um pick who is the best looking bias all right let's roll <laughs> okay okay i did want to do that okay i'm gonna pull this up because i because i just want to know what your preference is so this my preference is is this my answers or what i think you okay look you did? okay look this is you know Jin though okay so take a good look at Jin. okay let's take let's take a good look at Jin. So this is Jin. Jin. You know Jin, right? Like, you know Jin. <laughs> you know Jin. <laughs> okay, there's Jin. TXT. This is my TXT bias. You don't know him as well, but you know TXT. So this is Subin. Okay, this is Subin. Oh no, oh my god, um, I have an EXO bias too. I haven't talked about him a lot uh, recently, but I love Chanyeol. Okay, this is Chanyeol. That's him with a white. Oh, this is a good one. Okay. Jakey. So you know in Hypen too. So Jake. So this is Jake. This, oh, this is his recent um, music video. He's an Aussie. <laughs> okay, so there's Jake. My latest obsession. Okay, so this is Mingi. I saw him in concert. This is Mingi. Okay, so let, let, let's go here. So we have one, two, three, four, five. So five of my main groups that I stand. So we got ATs, we got Inhypen, we got EXO, we have TXT, and we have, of course, BTS. Who do you think? Your preference, obviously, okay? So, like, everyone knows the, all of these men are beautiful, okay? Everyone knows. But I just want to see where, like, what his preference. I'm going to go... Mingi. You like Mingi? You, you, you like Mingi the best? Why? He looks more more chill. <laughs> he looks more chill? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> okay, okay. Just okay, okay. vibe with him more. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> okay, and what about Jin? Oh, you did call him your nemesis before. Maybe that's why. But, but actually, they're all your nemesis. <laughs> I just want to know, okay? Are you done? Yes, I'm done. There's a way too much water. I am ruined the noodles. Okay, so we have another fun thing today. Oh, do we? A company reached out and they wanted to send us a box because they saw that we do mukbangs occasionally. <laughs> so um, this company called Try Treats actually sent us a box. And I believe this is their, it's a subscription for different snacks around the world. I'm pretty sure this is like their premium premium box. And I think they're from different countries. Like it, like they span every continent. So I think it has info on which country like the snacks are from. Ooh. So we're just gonna see what snacks there are. So thank you Try Treats for sending us this box. We have a code if you want 50%, if you want to try these different treats. Uh, all the info is in the description if you want to check it out. 
So you get 15% off your order if you use <gasps> whoa, whoa! Oh, if you use the code Chrissy and Jeff. Oh, can you can you pick this up? It's a cute box. This color's cute. <gasps> wow! What is in here? Whoa! What's this? Ooh! Whoa, it's from Thailand! Wait, these are all- Oh yeah, duh! It's a Thai- So they sent us treats from Thailand? Oh, wow. Oh, cool! Oh, so you can pick- this, Also, uh, every box has a certain country. It says, this month's treats come to you from Thailand. Thailand is often called the land of smiles. Oh, so every month it says different country. Because the people who live in Thailand smile a lot. Mm. Thailand is famous for its pristine beaches, lush forests, beautiful temples, and friendly locals. Thailand is the only country in Southeast Asia that has never been colonized by Europeans, allowing them to preserve their traditions and Whoa, culture, we also get a including lesson. their unique food flavors. In this month's box, you'll find a wide variety of snacks, including both sweet and savory treats to satisfy your cravings. And so it has like a list of all the snacks that are in here. So we're going to try all of them. Oh my god, this is fun though, because you can enter a mystery box giveaway and you can rate which snacks you like the best. You know what's crazy? Okay, so anyway, the website is here. Um, um, I'll link it so you can check out all the different um, fun stuff about it. But this is so cool because, oh my god, Thailand? We still need a- we went to Thailand for a honeymoon. Yeah. That's so cool. Oh my god, that's so cool! Okay, what do you want to try? So let's try- let's- there is a spicy- oh. And it's vegetarian! Triple M stick spicy. Okay. And vegetarian. Hmm. Whoa! It's seaweed. So it's just like kim. It's just kim rolled up. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. It was a kick to yeah. it. What the heck? Oh my god, it's actually more spicier than I thought it was. It's good. It's pretty good. Mm. Oh my god. Oh, I just, I just like as soon as it hit my nose, the 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 spiciness went up my nose. Hmm, where is stuff we like? It's him. Spicy lobster. Whoa. So this is Lay's, but spicy lobster flavor. Oh, I heard Lay's in other countries are. Oh my god, than this is so cool. Where's the paper? Yeah, spicy lobster by Lay's. Classic Lay's with a twist. Spicy lobster by Lay's is a unique flavor. Let's see if it actually tastes like uh I actually don't like lobster, but obviously this is not real lobster. It's not bad. You know, one time Sylvia gave me um ketchup chips from Canada and I really hated it at first, but then it got really addicting. Mm -hmm. Has like a vinegary smell. Hmm. Oh, you know what? This is like shrimp chips. Yeah. Hmm. It tastes like baked chips. The chips are baked. Yeah. Mm, baked yeah. lace. This is good. good. Yeah, this is good. Mm. These are good. Mm. This is perfect because we're drinking, so we're also having anju. So anju is like a snack to eat while you drink. It's perfect. What's the next one? Chicky sticks. What's a chicky stick? This is cute. Chicky stick is by V Foods. Yeah, so they're all different brands or different um, companies. Chicky stick is a chicken flavored potato stick. Is this going to be something you're going to try? Um, is this actual chicken? I think it's just chicken flavor. It's like fish sauce. Here, open it. <laughs> what? Oh god, does this smell like chicken? Oh my god. <laughs> okay, that's not a pleasant smell. You eat it and you tell me if you like that. Oh, whoa, it's red. Is this spicy? Oh, they taste good. Oh, they're good? Yeah. Yeah, it, I think um I think it's the fish sauce. So there's the, there's fish sauce in here. I don't think there's there's no chicken. Oh, whoa, look. They're chicky sticks. Oh, mm. oh, they're good. Yeah. It yeah. just tastes like um. You know what we like about this? Cause it kind of has like a all everything has like a kind of vinegary taste. And it's spicy. 
Mm. And it definitely has um, a lot of flavor. Mm -hmm. Oh, these are actually really good. Yeah. I don't think it tastes they, like they chicken. They just smelled bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. When you open it, you know, like fish sauce, like when you open it, it does not smell good. The same thing with like kimchi. It doesn't smell good, but when you eat it, it's so, it's delicious. Yeah. This one definitely has more flavor than the Lay's. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, this is like a really good, these are all good um, drinking snacks. So you would choose this over the Lay's? Mm. Yes, right? Yeah. What about, I, what about? The texture, I'm not the biggest fan of, of the chicky sticks. You know, I like, I like this, cause it's like more spicy. Mm -hmm. And I love Kim, and I love the flavored Kim. So that one's really good. These are more like personable though, like. Personable? Like for like one person. Or oh oh yeah, you can't yeah. share these. Yeah, it's like weird though. I've never seen like him rolled up like a snack. What is this? A Gandam wheat puff. This is really cute. What is this? Usagi puff caramel. Oh, is this caramel. Oh, it's like those little um. What is it called? Those little puffs, like a puff cereal. Uh, Jolly Pong. Have you ever had? So is this Ooh. Korean snack called Jolly Pong? It smells. It was like caramel. Syrupy. It's, yeah, it's caramel. Really tiny. Let me pour it into your hand. Or... Mm, this is like Jolly Pong. It's a Jolly Pong. Jolly? No, it's it's Jolly Pong, but in in like it's a Korean snack called Jolly Pong, uh -huh. and it's literally this. <laughs> that you were talking about Sylvia's Dolly. <laughs> I mean, these are really good. I really like this. Oh, well, this is like um, this is really good. Honey Nut Cheerios, almost like but. But like caramel yeah. Yeah. Yeah, caramel like honey nut Cheerios. Yeah, this is like a good cereal. Probably good with milk. Mm -hmm. I like this. And it's milk. actually, I think, more flavored than Jolly Pong. But it's good. Um, it's a nice transition from all the spicy. Yeah. Oh, I like how they put that on top, actually. Oh, you think they did it on purpose? What's this? Yeah. Bento. Oh, so this is a sweet Talking sweet. about sweet and spicy, there's two in one. Huh? What? What do you mean? We are just talking about all the spicy and you weren't listening to anything else. <laughs> okay, so this is like a, um, like an Oljingo snack. Oh, it's like going to be one of those, um, like the... It's dried squid. Yeah, the, like a dried squid thing, which I'm not the... Oh, I'm not the biggest fan of stuff like this. I used to be... This is drinking food. This is... Oh my god, this is... This is Anju. This is Anju, Anju. It smells spicy. Oh, shit. Oh, it's spicy. It was spicy! I like the spice though. <laughs> it's spicy. Whoa! It's really spicy. We were complaining about the flavor that we didn't get it because I watered down the um the the. Mm -hmm. This is a spicy. This is really this is the spiciest like ojingo snack I've ever had in my life. <laughs> Holy crap! This is this is fun trying um Thai snacks. I've never had Thai snacks like this before. Yeah. Oh, I'm glad we have the soju. It's like you're drinking around the world. If you like Ojingo, um, and you like spice, this is, this is, this is good. Like, the flavors are good. Like, I think Asian snacks, their flavors are really oh, good. Oh, yeah. Asian snacks are way better than okay, American snacks. Okay, so this is like Pocky. This, I mean, we know Pocky. But is this like a certain, um, is, is this like chocolate Pocky? They're from Thailand, and they're different. For, so this is like the Pocky they sell in Thailand. You know, every, obviously, every country has different um, Pockies, just like the Kit Kats and stuff. So it's like their green tea Kit Kats. Mm -hmm. So this is the chocolate one that you would get in Thailand. Oh, this is cool. <gasps> I love Pocky. So regular Pocky, but this is the Thailand chocolate Pocky. Everyone knows what Pocky mm -hmm. looks like. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's a dark, it's like a dark chocolate. I feel like Thai food and Thai flavor is very like, it's it really aligns yeah, with us. Yeah, it's like one of my favorite foods. Mm -hmm. It's very flavorful. I feel like other countries, their snacks, they just taste better. Hmm. I wonder if they sent this because they knew we went to Thailand. That'd be so cute. And then there's candies. Let's try the candies. Okay, let's try mango gummy. Ooh! Mango gummy. 
Oh, it smells really good. Oh, yeah. it's a heart. It's cute. Oh my god, this is so cute. It smells nice. Oh, this smells really good. Oh my god. Oh, it's sticky. Mmm. <laughs> it's a. Oh, this is good. Mmm. Mm. Even their candies, like. Oh my just god. Just Asian candies in general are so good. This is really good. Wow. That was the mm. best thing so far, I think. That oh, was really have good. One each. Yeah, I know. <laughs> okay, let's try them. Um, these are the wafers. So they got, so they included a vanilla and um, a chocolate wafer, a cream and a chocolate wafer. So, so this is just the wafer, and this is by Shanghai. It's the wafer. Hmm. Do you like wafers? I do. I'm a big fan of Kit Kats. You know. I'm not the biggest fan of the chocolate. I don't really like milk chocolate. I like dark chocolate. That's why I like this Pocky. Mine's like white chocolate. I don't. I said it was cream. Oh, oh. It's like whatever. Mm. Kit Kat's better. Mm hmm. Oh, okay. I guess the last thing is the cappuccino candy. They, they oh, actually. A lot of these. Actually, oh my god. I've actually had these before, I think. These are good, I think. If, if it, it, these it, better be out of this world because they are. So many of these. It's a cappuccino candy by Copico. And only two mangoes. Those mango, the mango gummies are really These good. These cappuccinos oh, better be out of this world. Look how cute this is! You know, you know why it's like this? Because it is like a cappuccino. Because it has the espresso and then the milk foam. Mmm. It's good. Yeah, it's the ASMR. These. I think that's one of the best. I'm things gonna endorse the Okio <laughs> mango gummy as my number one choice. You know, okay. The thing is, I really like Pocky and I really like dark chocolate, so this might be number two. I think the mango because it was a good surprise. I think that is my number one too. The savory snacks, I think they were all pretty good. Mm -hmm. You like the the chicky sticks were good. The flavor was really good. I'm not the biggest fan of the texture. I don't know why. They're very crunchy, but it's also, it sticks to your teeth a little bit. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Um, I like the spicy keem. The Lay's, this was, this was also good. This was good, like, this was, these were kind of, like, very opposite. Like, this was super spicy and flavored, and this was most more mild because it's Lay's. So, What's one that you could have done without? The way, the, definitely the wafers. The wafers, yeah. These were nothing special. They didn't really have flavor. The chocolate was not that good. I don't really recommend that. But everything else, I I think it's good. So this box, I think it's I think it's worth your while if you. Uh, oh my god! I thought these were good too because I love Jolly Pong. <laughs> Jolly Pong. I really like these, but it's just like Jolly Pong. Anyway, so what I was saying was. This um, Try Treats box, I think it's worth your while if you really want to try something from a specific country and you don't have access to it wherever you are. Like, I feel like for us, I mean, I've never actually had, um, I don't think I've had any of these like Thai treats except for like Pockies, but I haven't, I mean, this is just dark chocolate mm -hmm. and uh, we can get these anywhere. But I feel like because of the area that we live in, if we actually sought out like a Thai like grocery store, we could easily get it, this. Yeah. Maybe, yeah. It's just that I don't know if there's like a like a Thai grocery store, or even like at like an H Mart or like a Korean no, store. No, you couldn't assemble this at like H Mart. I don't think. Yeah, I don't think they'll have all of this, and it's really cool to see like the Thai lettering and stuff. But um, like I said, check out the link. Um, and and we we have a code for fifteen percent off if you want to try it. But I think it's really good for people if you just if you really just want like a cool box and it's a subscription, so you can um. Uh, do it every month but i think it's worth it if you just if you would just want to try something new because this was actually fun mm -hmm. trying stuff that i've yeah. never had before like yeah. that, that it was actually really fun it's like a mm -hmm. snack reaction channel <laughs> <laughs> resnaction you know what would be fun if we got a bunch of different kind of sojus oh my god you know this was actually kind of thoughtful though whoever put this box together thank you because the cappuccinos were at the bottom so this is the last thing we tried. Yeah. So it's yeah. like an end of meal type of thing. Mm -hmm. yeah, you know, that's probably why they put it at the bottom. Oh. If we had it at the top, the video would be like an hour long. Yeah, we'd just be like, okay, I don't know how to spit it out. I really like the way that they have like the card. And look, they gave um, a recipe for Thai iced tea. 
Really? Yeah, that's cool. Hello. So anyway, thank you, Try Treats, for sending us this box. Yeah, thank you so yeah, much. Yeah, thank you so much. We really appreciate it. Mm -hmm. um, now we have some more some snacks with, um, we have more drinks downstairs. Oh my gosh, this is cool though, because there's a, um, uh, you can fill out which one you like the best. And it says best, worst, and then weirdest. <laughs> Do you have a weirdest? The weirdest one, um, would you say this is your weirdest one? Yeah, I would say maybe the chicky sticks because, I mean, first of all, for me, it doesn't taste like chicken. Anyways, um, more fun stuff is coming. Like I said, I'm gonna probably try to vlog all day. Um, Ooh, that's spicy. <laughs> we're gonna, uh, I'm gonna try to vlog all day when we go to the, um, the move the, to Cinemark to watch BTS this weekend. So this video will be up before that. So we're gonna finish the soju. Kanbe, kanbe. Kanbe, what is that? That's uh, Mingi's famous line from. Oh yes, I have heard that. Oh, so, so many times in, in my head. Kanbe, kanbe. Hubby picked Mingi. <laughs> what? Why'd you get that look? Because you picked Mingi. I'm like very obsessed with Mingi. <laughs> Maybe we'll do Hobie finds his 80s bias. <laughs>